moved by white tears. Most of us are moved by white tears because we don't actually think they're real. It's a performance. Mm -hmm. It's a switch that you turn on because you know that we have been socialized to see you as more human. Baby, after listening to Dr. Yababla preach, Nia Long is out here exposing her ex-husband Ime Udoka's white mistress, Kathleen Lynch. Nia is revealing how Kathleen was protected because she is a white woman, while she and her black kids were set up for controversy and dragged through social media, and then expected to be strong. You know what really caught me about the affair was how Kathleen very evidently knew what she was doing because she was the one handling travel and accommodation arrangements for the family members of Celtic team members including Nia. The audacity. Well, Nia is done, da, done, done, done being silent and is now calling her out. Okay, so it all started when Nia shared a video of Dr. Yaba Blay speaking to her two friends on their We Can Do Hard Things podcast about how the world treats white women's tears versus black women's tears. According to Dr. Yaba, the way people respond to white women crying is way different to how they respond to black women crying. Because a black woman could be rolling on the ground crying and screaming and no one would care. But the moment a white woman cries, the world stops to figure out why she's crying. And you are moved because you've been socialized not to see us as human beings. Our tears don't matter to you, but a white woman and y'all know that shit. That's why I'm not here for the fragility. You know that. And so you very deliberately turn the shit on as a way to avoid accountability. You know who agreed with everything Dr. Yaba said? Yep, Nia Long. And trust, she blessed everyone who put her and her son through all hell during her cheating scandal. In her caption, Nia wrote, where was this level of awareness a year ago at Celtics? Question mark, question mark, question mark. And for the first time, she mentioned the name of Ime Udoka's mistress, whose identity was never revealed by the NBA team, Kathleen Lynch. In in the comment section, Nia also wrote, Thank you, Yaba Blay, for your fearlessness and speaking facts for all of us. This is such an important conversation that needs to be heard and understood. Now, in case you somehow forgot, back in 2022, Nia was hit with news that Ime cheated on her. Also, might I add, she found out about it along with the rest of the world. At the time, sources reported that Ime had engaged in an intimate relationship with a woman, a Boston Celtics staff member, while he was serving as head coach. Soon after the affair became public, the NBA team announced that they had suspended Ime, citing violations of team policies. And while Ime was suspended from the team, Kathleen did not face disciplinary action over the situation. In fact, she wasn't even mentioned. Ime also released his own statement saying, I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization, and my family for letting them down. I am sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation, and I accept the team's decision out of respect for everyone involved, I will have no further comment. Remember, all this time when people were making apologies and whatnot, the name of the person who had an affair with Ime was kept private, even though she was known. Things actually got super spicy after that, when allegations started making rounds, claiming that Ime Udoka was caught sleeping with numerous women on the Celtic staff during his tenure as head coach. But the affair that made headlines was the one with Kathleen Lynch. So from what I found out, Kathleen is a devout Mormon, married with three kids, and she was a friend of former Celtics chief of basketball operations, Danny Ainge, who helped her secure her position with the team. Ainge is a fellow Mormon and Kathleen apparently went to Brigham Young University with his daughter. People also found out that Kathleen graduated in 2011 and was later hired by the Celtics, working under Ainge, who was the chief of basketball operations at the time. And you know what? Ainge allegedly learned about the affair between Kathleen and Ime in the summer of 2021, but he did not intervene. It was also reported that Kathleen Kathleen was spotted wearing her wedding and engagement rings four months after the affair with Ime went public, which means her marriage didn't get the hit that Nia's got. Other than that, Kathleen was largely protected, especially by the Celtics team, who had hired a law firm months before things blew up and was investigating Ime for months. One of the things that really hurt Nia at the time was that Ime knew that things were going to go sideways sooner or later, but he did not even give her a heads up. Nia actually expressed her disappointment in being blindsided by Ime. And 
the team members and executives who knew what was going on for months. And guess what? Nia had just moved to Boston two weeks before the news broke, and Ime's side piece Kathleen was reportedly the one who helped coordinate her travel arrangements. This just proves that Kathleen knew exactly who Nia was, possibly even when she would be with Ime, and that gave her the opportunity to properly schedule when she would be with Ime. Nia was also furious because no one from the team reached out to her or even cared to ask how her son was doing after the whole scandal blew over. She told Hollywood Reporter, if you're in the business of protecting women, I'm sorry. No one from the Celtics organization has even called to see if I'm okay, to see if my children are okay. I think the most heartbreaking thing about all of this was seeing my son's face when the Boston Celtics organization decided to make a very private situation public. Following the split, Nia also admitted to the cut that she and Ime's son Kez were having a really tough time dealing with the aftermath of the situation. She also said, the Celtics made a choice to make my family business public, and I don't understand why. It could have all been handled internally. I do understand why, but I can't talk about it. Maybe one day I will. You know, fear drives stupidity, and I'll leave that right there. I've learned that I'm stronger than I ever thought I was. Well, even though they were happy to make things public, Celtics was very deliberate in leaving out Kathleen's name from their announcement. And that is just nasty. How are you going to protect one woman and not the other? It has all shades of racism written all over it. And Nia believes it too. She says that the reason why they kept her identity private was because she is a white woman. One person in the comment section of the video she shared even asked, hold on, so is the reason why the identity of the co-adulterer has been so tightly guarded by the at Celtics because she is a white woman? It would finally make sense why she has never been openly identified. Your betrayal was broadcast for the world to feel, but she was granted anonymity? Perhaps I'm reading too far into your caption? And Nia responded by saying that the person was correct. So with Nia finally saying the name of the person Ime cheated with, a lot of people agreed that the level of protection Kathleen Lynch was given while Nia and her children were left fully unaware and exposed was on a whole other level. Even the media protected Kathleen while at the same time mentioned Nia's name and her children's names over and over and over again. Well, Nia actually received overwhelming support from fellow celebs, including Snoop Dogg, after naming Kathleen Lynch by name for the first time, shading her and Ime over the cheating scandal. Followers also posted their support with one saying, Yep, we figured it had to be a white snow roach since the at Celtics and the white media covered it up, but eviscerated Udoka in the media. If it would have been a black woman he cheated with, her face would have been in the media the same day. There are other people who also said that Nia should stop putting the blame on Celtics, like this person who wrote, You blaming the Celtics for your man not keeping it in his pants? It's been a year. The Celtics organization don't owe you nothing. And another person added, Your husband had relations with another woman on multiple occasions. You're more upset with his former employers than you seem to be with him. I don't know the details, so I can't know the whole situation, but from the outside looking in, it's how it appears. Of course, there are also those who came to Nia's defense, saying that it's not about how she's blaming the team, it's about how the team was happy to name Ime, but they never once mentioned Kathleen. But what do you guys think? Does it come across like Nia is blaming the Celtics for Ime's infidelity? Do you agree that Kathleen's name was kept private because she she is a white woman. What are your thoughts on Nia finally publicly naming her? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below.